All right, people, today I'm going to tell you about five things that I wish I knew before I started keeping fish. And um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Now, the very first thing that I wish I knew before I started setting up my fish tanks and stuff is well it can be pricey yeah people keeping fish isn't as simple as just buying a glass box and filling it up with water you see first things first you gotta consider that you have to buy the aquarium now depending on the size that can be quite expensive and i'm assuming you will most probably need a cabinet as well which once again adds a bit more to the price and that's only the start after that you will need to buy some substrate if you want plants you will need plants if you want some cool things like woods and stones you will need to buy all of that people I mean, if you know what you're doing, you might be able to use some things that you find out in the wild, like rocks and that, if you clean them properly. But if you want to stay on the safe side, you will need to go to a shop and buy them. And then you still have to buy the fish as well. And people, I'll keep it real, most people won't really know what they're doing at the start. So there's a very good chance that you will even lose your first few fish. And it might even take you up to a few months before you know what you're doing properly, before you finally stop losing some fish. So yeah, if you're considering during getting a fish tank just be aware it's not very cheap now the second thing that i wish i knew before i started keeping fish and i guess this part is for when you're actually you know escaping your tank and that's the fact that plants grow yeah people i know it seems a bit silly me saying it like this but honestly when you're putting in your plants for your fish tank like when you're escaping it and that they're gonna be very small and it's quite hard to judge how big they will actually get and what can happen which is what happened to me is you could accidentally put a plant which gets fairly big somewhere in the middle which will just obstruct your view from everything so the general rule is you want to keep all the plants that grow very big right at the back and then the medium sized plants you want to keep somewhere in the middle and then the smallest and lowest plants you want to keep right at the front now a little bonus thing to add to this is you also want to trim your plants don't feel bad about it because depending on what plants you have they will grow out of control so yeah don't be afraid to trim and maintain them and definitely pick the spots wisely of you know where you plant them at first because the longer you wait the more the roots will grow and it's just going to be a much bigger mess when you're trying to move them trust me people i'm talking from experience i've recently had to do a complete rescape where i had to take everything out i'll put a card somewhere up here so you can watch that now the third thing that i wish i knew before i started you know setting up fish tanks and that is what size was actually best for me you see people i've got two fish tanks i've got a fluval flex downstairs which is a 57 liter and i've obviously got this 200 liter fluval roma and yeah people i first First bought the fluval flex it was a small tank and i had it on top of my snake enclosure but i got addicted to the hobby pretty quickly i can't lie so it didn't take long before my small 57 liter fish tank was filled up i couldn't get any more fish otherwise i'll be in danger of overstocking the fish tank so i only had one other option which is to buy a massive fish tank where i could get much more fish so yeah people you should really think about what you would want like if you're really into fish you might as well just go for the bigger one because if you buy a smaller tank and then you decide to buy a big tank anyway you're gonna end up with two tanks Thanks and yeah it's a lot of work people I can't lie now the fourth thing that I wish I knew before I started keeping fish is the importance of maintenance now I learned that lesson very quickly I actually learned that lesson with my fluval flex the 57 litre and um yeah people maintenance is very important and believe me if you don't do your maintenance you will regret it because one day you will just come home and most of your fish will be dead now luckily with me it wasn't too bad because like i said it happened right at the start where i was actually doing my maintenance but i done the whole cycle wrong because in the shop they tell you to just leave a empty fish tank for two weeks and then it'll be fine which is completely wrong people you don't want to do that you want to introduce something small so you can get the cycle started but don't worry people i'll make a separate video on how to start cycling a fish tank to get it ready for your fish but yeah what ended up happening is i had those fish it they were in a basically uncycled tank it was just empty for two weeks clean water filtering through a filter it basically didn't do anything and um yeah they done their business and that the ammonia spike rose up and then they died when i say they it was a small group of tetras but it still hurt man but yeah people do your maintenance because you will regret it if you don't and the last thing that i wish i knew before i started keeping fish 
finish and buy fish and all of that is yeah do your research people definitely do your research before buying new fish if you don't have the right tag parameters they could die if they're too small they could get eaten by other fish and if they're too big they could eat your other fish you feel me now at the same time there's a lot of contradicting information online and sometimes you just need to take a few risks if you really want a fish for example i've got my moray eel in there and i kind of knew there was a risk that it could attack some of my smaller fish but luckily she hasn't so far and it's been going good. But once again, there is still that risk that when she grows older, she could go for some of these fish. So I will need to start thinking about a backup plan soon. But yeah, the main thing is people, you definitely want to do your research because the last thing you want is spend several hundred pounds on some beautiful fish and then you introduce one fish that just kills them all. Or the other thing that can happen is, you know, you spend a few years keeping your fish now and you think, yes, you can now invest big money into one of the rarer fish and then you buy it and then it dies yeah you definitely want to do your research people but yeah people that was five things that i wish i knew before i started keeping fish i really hope that this video helped you out and if you enjoyed this video why don't you check out one of these two next